So last month we were invited to Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral by the Space Coast Visitors Bureau to be able to check out the local area and some of the sites that are available. The Space Coast is home to a few things that are very important. One of them is Port Canaveral. If you like to cruise and you're a fan of Disney, Port Canaveral is where you would be sailing out of if you do a Disney land and sea package. Another very important site and one that has been sparking the imagination lately is NASA and Kennedy Space Center. This is where you would go to see all the latest SpaceX launches. I have lived in Florida my entire life and I had never spent a significant amount of time in the Space Coast area. I visited Disney of course and I've spent time camping and adventuring through the Central Florida area. I also lived in the Panhandle for a few years and explored that area, but for some reason exploring the Space Coast was something I had never been able to do before. So I was glad when I finally got the chance to stay in that area. When we first arrived in Cocoa Beach, we had lunch at Sunset, Sunset Cafe and Bar, which is a great little place on the water and with dockage. So if you're a boater, you can park your boat and have lunch there. After lunch, we hopped on a boat with Island Boat Lines to take a two hour tour of the ecology of the area. Cocoa Beach is a barrier island on the east coast of Florida. Between the mainland and the island is the Banana River with a bunch of islands that are nature preserves. And from a boat, you can really see a lot of the local wildlife of this, um, on this river. We were able to catch a lot of the local birds like herons and hingas, cormorants and ospreys. <laughs> Ospreys are the ones I love to watch. These are big birds of prey. They're about the size of eagles and are fishermen just the same as eagles. You can see them along rivers like the Banana River and in the Everglades. For a while, I actually had one in my neighborhood fishing out of a canal that runs along my backyard and, and snakes through my neighborhood. These are amazing creatures and during this eagle trip, I saw more than I'd ever seen in my lifetime. They were everywhere. We also were able to see a pot of dolphins and a manatee that was munching on the leaves of a plant along the river's edge. I really enjoyed this little eco tour. It was relaxing and since I love being in nature, it was great to see all this local wildlife in Cocoa Beach. I will put all the information for the island boat tours in the description so you can learn more about them there. Next was a trip to the Exploration Tower. Now this is, tower is kind of like a museum. There are six levels with event, space, with event spaces and gallery sp spaces, plus an observation deck where you can see the port and watch rocket launches when there's a launch. Unfortunately, when I was there, it was a rainy, hazy day, so there really wasn't much of a view, and with the suspension of cruises, there was no cruise ships at port. Also, their gallery spaces were closed because of COVID, but I did get an idea of what is available in the tower and what it would be like during normal times. This tower is actually inside the port. You actually drive past this tower to get to the port and be able to board your boat when you're going on a cruise. I had been here before and I had actually seen the tower from one of the times that I cruised out of Port Canaveral, but I wasn't aware of what that tower was. I always thought it was pretty neat because it looks like a giant sail. But um, this time I actually got to go inside the tower and find out what it was about. And it was really neat experience for me. Along the observation deck, there's information about the Banana River and all the local wildlife, as well as information about the port. There is also a little area where kids can play and climb on the statues of animals and interact with the area. When you first walk in, there's a gift shop which has a lot of cute little knickknacks, but my favorite thing was the artwork that was suspended overhead. There were bright dolphins and jellyfish against the white walls of the tower, which really stood out. And when you look a little closely, you can see that it's all made of plastics. Things like clothes hangers and plastic spoons that should be recycled and can end up in the oceans and hurt sea life. It was really great. And as a person who's very concerned about um, the ecology as well as loves art, this was really interesting to me. We didn't spend much time at the tower since it was closed, but I was able to at least get a glimpse of what it no would normally be like. We also stayed at the Hilton Cocoa Beach, which is oceanfront. This hotel has event space for meetings, weddings, and things like that. It was recently renovated 
and has a lot of nice modern touches. I will speak more about the hotel in an upcoming video where I'll go a little more in depth. Finally, on Sunday, the final day of our trip, we spent that day exploring Kennedy Space Center. I'm planning on coming back to Kennedy Space Center because I really didn't feel like I spent as much time as I would have liked there. And with COVID, a lot of the kids areas were closed. I'm also gonna be doing a separate video on the Visitor Space Center because there's just so much to talk about with that area and I don't wanna put it all in one video. Um, so I'm gonna give you a more thorough view of what you can do here at Kennedy Space Center in that second video, so be sure to watch out for it. So that's it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell that you'll see right up here so you can be notified when videos are up and leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything more you would like me to show you or if you have any questions on the areas that I visited. Talk to you soon.